What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your voice quality in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Before we go any further, here's an example of the effect this will have. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So that right there was the intro to my previous video which was how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas. Link to it will be in the description. But this is it right here, I've got the intro up again, let's go ahead and play it. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a green Okay so you get it, it is the raw footage of the intro. Now the way we're going to be doing this is with track effects, the track EQ and the track compressor. Now for example, very very quickly which is very important, let's say you have this right here so you've got a whole video edited and you have different sections if you only want to to apply it to the first thing or one particular item out of these then you'd press this button right here if you want to apply it to the entire track press this right here so it won't make a difference which one you pick unless you want to do it to one particular thing so for this way I'm gonna to come to track effects and this is what you should get Track noise gate, track EQ, and track compressor. We're only working with the EQ and the compressor. Now, once you click it, if you do not have these items right here, you'll have to add them in manually. So, come back to this right here. So, come to this right here. And then we need to look for the EQ and compressor, which is right there. You can highlight them like that. Press add. Okay. And you can see they come up like this. Now we'll start with the track EQ. Now this is not going to be the same, however what I'm going to be showing you is a starter for what you can work with. So, I already have mine set up, right there you can see it's called vocals. This is my preset, so if you want to copy them, here we go. So pause the video each time, this is number one. Number two is this right here. Number three is this. And number four is this. Now, like I said, your voice might not sound the best with this. This is just my settings. And for those wondering, I am using a Rode Podcaster mic. So again, this might not suit your voice or your microphone. So just mess with it. You can set it up like this and then just play around moving it up and down. So the way it's actually already set up with the one above, make sure you mess with it up and down and side to side only. Don't go below like that. And then the same applies with the other ones. This is on top, so only mess with it up here. Number three, you can most likely leave the same, you probably won't need to change that. And the same for number two, mainly just work with number one and four. Once you're happy with everything, where it says preset, type in whatever you want to call it, press save, and that way you won't need to remember the settings again, you can press here, and you can get it right here. The next thing is the track compressor. Again, I'm going to be showing you my preset, but you might have to mess with it to suit your microphone or your voice. Input gain, we leave the same. Output gain, we leave the same and the threshold, amount, attack, release, this is the stuff we will change. So you can see right here, these are my current settings. Again, completely up to you if you want to change, but that is what I have. Go ahead and mess around with it, or yours might actually work as well. And again, once you're happy with your settings, come to preset, call it whatever you want to, press save, and that way you can come here and select it whenever you want to. So now if we go ahead and listen to it. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So as you can tell that sounds much better, there is a clean bass to the voice and that is how simple it is to make your voice sound better in Sony Vegas. Now if you have background noise in your videos, I've made a video before how to remove background noise in Audacity, a link to that will be in the description. And likewise with this video I've made a video before how to make your voice sound better in Audacity so you can test it out. You can use it in Sony Vegas, see if it's good, then you can use it in Audacity and see which one's better for you. Links to both of them will be in the description. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated whenever you're posting on what I'll be posting. 
Also be sure to go and check out my Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. Be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I'll post 3-4 to four times a week. And finally be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep it updated on the best technology news. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.